Hello everyone. I welcome to you in the computer aided design class. This is Mr. Obed and today I came to you with a very special class. In this class we will learn about the design of the ladies handbag. Let me explain you about the essential patterns which includes in this styles. These are as follows. Front and back patterns, gusset patterns, pockets including its gusset and top facing, top facing, front and back interfacing, front and back lining, gusset lining, top facing and hang strap. These are the essential patterns which includes in this styles and we will develop these patterns in this class in an easiest and innovative methods. So let's start. Before starting the design, first of all you have to create the storage area. So for that purpose you have to go to the file menu and you have to go to the new and v storage area. You have to select and give the name as a in a short form ladies hand back and then you have to press the ok button right ok and then ok. Now you can see that your folder has been created. Now you have to activate this folder. For that purpose, you have to left click over here and then you have to go to the process. Now you have to open the pattern design software from this process. Now you can see that the pattern design software is going to start to open its work area. So now before starting the design, you must have to create the path. So for that purpose, you have to go to the edit and customize preferences. Now you have to select the path and whatever styles you have to ladies handbag. You have to select this storage area and then notch, SP notch. Now you have to go to the apply, save. And then okay now your storage area and path has created the next very important thing is that you must have to create the user environment user environment means you have to decide the measurement units whether you want design your patterns in inches or in centimeters so we have to select the matrix means centimeters and after that we have already selected these things now we have already saved it also so then okay now we have to go to the create menu and we have to select the rectangle now we will start the designs of the patterns first of all we will de design the front and back pattern so let me start for that you have to come to the user input menu and you have to activate the value come to the work area and left click over there now you have to enter the width of this pattern that is the 50 centimeter and the length of this pattern is 55 centimeter and then you have to press the enter button and now you have to give the name as a short form as a front and hit the enter button right click and then open now you can see that the outline of your patterns has been created. Now you have to go to the two points and come to this end one. And you have to deactivate the value. And now you have to left click over here. In the same way you have to come to this points. And then you have to draw another line in the similar ways. Now go to the modify and select the point line tools and come to this end. Now you have to go to the value. And you have to enter the distance of 4 cm and hit the enter button. In the same way, you have to select this line. You will, you will see that the positive arrow will activate. Now you have to enter the length of this line as 8 cm and hit the enter button. Right click and then OK. Now, very essential things is that you have to go to the create menu and you have to select the two point curve. Now you have to come to this end point and deactivate the value and then end point of this one you have to give a proper curve 
in the similar ways. Again, you have to come to this end point, and now you have to come to this end point. Left click and right click at a time, turn to release, and after that, pressing both the click at a time, then we have to release it. Then you can see that the positive arrow will activate into the work area. Now you have to enter as a 50 percent and hit the enter button. Now we have to give it the proper shape of the pattern. In the same way we have to come to this and now again we have to come to the end of this horizontal line and then we have to come to this end box and we have to enter the distance of 50 percent and then hit the enter button. curve and we have to come to this end in the same way and we have to come to this end and then we have to in come to this end box and we have to enter here 50 percent and hit the enter button now we have to give it the proper shape right click and then okay now we can see this shape has been developed again we have to go to the two point tools and we have to come to this end of this point in the same way we have to come to the end of this curve shape right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the mirror and we have to select the mirror tools and we have to select all these line right click and then ok now we have to select this vertical mirror line now we can see mirror has been downloaded to this pattern now we have to go to the modifying tools split and we have to come to this end point and we have to enter the distance of 12 and hit the enter button in the same way we have to come to this side line and we have to enter the distance of 12 centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now you have to go to the create two point and then you have to join this two point right click and then ok now, now we have to trace the outer line of these patterns so we have to go to the create trace and we have to select the outline in a clockwise direction of this pattern like this right click and then ok now we have to select the center and this two line also now we can see that the front patterns you have to give the name as a front short form front right click and then ok now you have to go to the annotations and you have to come to this work area left click right click and then ok now you have to enter the name as a front upper how much you have to cut the piece so you have to write cut to and default size you have to change as a 2 and then ok now we can see that the name of this pattern also has been annotation has also been developed over here now we have to copy the same pieces for the back patterns so for that purpose we have to go to the copy and we have to select this piece and come to this or side and then you have to give them as a back in a short form uh, okay right click and then ok we have to go to the modify edit annotations and we have to select this annotation left to click right click and then ok now in place of front we have to change the name as a back and then ok now we can see that the front and back patterns has been developed in an easiest method now we have to develop the gusset pattern for that purpose first of all we have to go to the modifying tools combine and we have to combine this two line in a similar way we have to combine this two line also now we have to select to this two and we have to combine right click and then ok so now we have to go to the smooth and we have to smooth this in the same way we have to smooth this side also so we have to go to the smooth tool and we have to smooth in the same manner right click 
and then okay now you if you are comfortable with your uh go ships then you have to finalize it now we have to go to the verifying tools line land and we have to select this line right click and then okay and similarly we have to select this portion of this line and we can measure the length of these two portions of this pattern now we have to trace the cassette pattern for that purpose we have to go to the create rectangle and you have to activate the value you have to click over here now you have to enter the width of your cassette as a 20 centimeter and the length whatever length is mentioned over here to this up to here we have to enter over here as a 57.28 centimeter and then hit the enter button now you give the name as a gasset pattern and then ok right click and then ok now we have to go to the annotations you have to come to this place left click right click and then ok now give the name as a short form gasset upper pattern and enter cut how much pieces you want to cut to this pattern as a 2 and you have to change in the default size as a 2 and ok right click and then ok now the name also has been applied to this pattern so now we have to develop the top facing patterns for that purpose we have to go to the again rectangle tools and we have to left click to the walk area now you have to enter the width of this pattern as a 10 centimeter and the length of this pattern will be as 33.54 centimeter as mentioned into the top of this pattern so 33.54 and hit the enter button now you give the name as a top facing in a short form and then ok right click and then now the top facing pattern has also been developed go to the annotation come to this pattern have to click right click and then ok give the name as a top facing enter how much pieces you want to cut you have to mention over here cut to default size of the font will be 2 and then ok right click and then ok so now the top facing has also been developed to this pattern now very interesting patterns is that we have to develop the pockets so for that purpose we have to go to the rectangle tools again you have to come to the walk area left click over there and you have to enter the width 17 centimeter and the length of the pocket will be 20 centimeter and hit the enter button give the name as a pocket short form and then ok right click and then ok so this is now what we have to do we have to go to the two points tools come to this end point and we have to deactivate the value and now you have to draw a free line then you have to go to the modifying tools point line now you have to apply the measurement to this point activate the value and enter the distance of 4 and then ok in the same way you come to this top and then you have to enter the distance of 4 cm and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to again select this point and 2 you have to enter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to go to the create to point curve and we have to select this point deactivate the value and this point also and now we have to give a very proper nice curve shape to this pattern again you come to this end point and then you come to this end point right click and enter the distance of 50 percent and hit the enter button now you have to give a proper shape shape in a like this way similarly we have to come to this end point and come to this horizontal end point right click come to this end box you have to enter the distance of 50 percent and hit the enter button now we have to give a shape like this right click and then okay. now we have to go to the two points menu come to this end point in the same way and point right click and then okay now we have to go to the mirror and we have to select this three line 
left right click and then okay select the mirror line right click and then okay. now the patterns has been done now we have to trace the outline of this pattern like this in a clockwise direction right click and then okay and we have to select the center line also right click and then okay. now you have to give the name as a pocket pattern in a short form and then ok right click and then ok go to the annotations now you have to give the name as a short form pocket and hit the enter button and how much pieces you want you have to write over here and default size will be 2 and then ok so now this thing has also been developed now we have to uh, go to the split and we have to trace the facing uh, uh, cassette of the pocket and its top facing so for that purpose we have to go to the modifying tools and split and you have to come to this point and box and we have to enter the distance of 5 and hit the enter button in the same way you have to come to this point and 5 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to go to the create menu two point tools we have to select and we have to join this to line right click and then ok now we have to go modify combine and we have to combine those two pieces in the same way we have to combine these two pieces also ok now we have to go to the verify line length we have to select the portion of this line and we have to verify how much length is here now we have to go to the create and rectangle tools we have to select activate the value left click to the work area now you have to enter the width of your gusset as a 5 cm and the length will be 18 point 18.72 as you are seeing into the screen 18.72 centimeter and then okay now we have to give the name as a pocket gusset g and then okay right click and then okay now we can see this is the pocket gusset pattern go to the annotations give the name as a pkt gusset g for gusset and hit the enter button how much patterns you want cut two and default will be one and hit the enter button go to the edit annotation select this one and move and you can move in a proper place and then ok right click on it in the same way we have to trace the top facing of this pocket so for that purpose go to the rectangle tools you have to come to the work area left to click over here and 2.5 centimeter you have to enter here width and length as mentioned over here we have 11.77 centimeter we have to enter and hit the enter button give the name as a pocket top facing and then ok right click and then ok in the same way we have to give the annotation to this piece also so pocket top facing enter cut and uh, default size will be one and move and you can move this piece in a proper place and then okay now these patterns has also been completed now we have to draft the lining patterns front and back interfacing patterns so interfacing is very easy we have to go uh, to the fusible material you can see here and we have to come to this tools practically and select your patterns wherever you want put the interfacing uh, stiffeners or cushioning forms to your uh, front and back so you have to select the piece right click and then ok enter the amount the original piece should be reduced uh, how much amount do you want to reduce as a 3 in a 0.3 centimeter 
or 0 0.5 centimeter we want to reduce to this pattern with the intermittent uh, actually we have to enter the distance of minus also right click and then okay now we can see this fusing materials has been created so now we have to go to the edit annotations and we have to edit this one this is called the interfacing material and we have to cut two pieces for the front and back so for front and back front and back and then ok so this is the interfacing patterns has been completely designed in an easiest methods go to the verify line length and we have to deactivate the value so this is the interfacing for front and back uh, has been completely designed for the gasset so now we have to draft the lining pattern for the front and back so for that purpose what we have to do so for the lining front and back we have to go to the create and mirror first of all uh, first of all uh, we have to go now we have to go to the create uh, and two points and we have to select this endpoint and we have to enter here 10 and hit the enter button two point we have come to this endpoint minus 10 we have to enter the distance or hit the enter button in the same way we have to go minus 10 and we have to hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to go to the two points and then we have to deactivate the value and we have to join these two points also so we have to select all these pieces right click and then ok and now we have to mirror it right click and then ok now we have to go to the two points and we have to join this line in a similar way right click and then ok now we can see this mirror has also been developed now we have to come to the two points come to this end point and we have to enter 2.5 centimeter and hit the enter button similarly we have to come to this end and we have to enter here 2.5 and hit the enter button we have to repeat the process 2.5 to this side also and uh, okay and come to this end point 2.5 centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then okay now we have to trace the front and back lining patterns so go to the trace and we have to select all the pieces in a, uh, in a clockwise directions likewise and then we have to select this two piece also right click and then ok now we can see this is the lining patterns has also been developed you have to give it lining and ok and then ok now we can see this lining patterns has been developed for this piece for that purpose now we have to develop first of all go to the modifying tools and uh, combine and we have to select these two and we have to combine at these positions similarly we have to select these two portions and we have to combine in the same way we have to come to this interface and we have to combine after making combinations of all these lines now we have to develop the uh, gusset lining patterns so for that purpose we have to go to the verifying tools and line length and we have to select first of all combine 
these two portions also. After making combinations of these two portions, uh, we have to go verify line length and we can select this portion and this portion and we have to give the length also. Now we have to go to the create menu rectangle and deactivate the cursor and left click over here. Now we have to enter the width as a 20 cm and the length will be 36.87 as you see you are seeing into the screen 36.87 and then ok now we have to give the name as a reset line ok right click and then ok now we can see this lining the sets has been done now how much piece we have to we have to go to the annotations and then we have to enter here the set lining cut four pieces default size will be two enter yeah and then okay so gusset lining four pieces we have to cut top facing also we have to draft the pattern top facing lining we have to enter the length as a 10 centimeter and the width uh, width 10 centimeter and length of this gusset will be 67.44 and in the enter button give the name as a top facing lining ok right click and then ok now we have to go to the annotations top facing lining hit the enter button cut 4 pieces Now ok, uh, top facing line, we have to cut two pieces only. So for that purpose, we have to go annotations and we have to top facing line, hit the enter button and cut to default size will be 1 and hit the enter button, right click and then ok. Now we can see that most of our patterns has been completely designed for the uh, ladies handbags. And now we have to uh, final part finally we have to give the seam allowances to these patterns so for that purpose we have to go to the modify advance a define seam and we have to select the all portions of this piece and we have to give as a one centimeter seam allowances in the same way we have to select this back portion also and we have to give as a one centimeter seam allowances. Gusset pattern is also here, so we have to give as a one centimeter seam allowances. Top facing patterns also we have to give the seam allowances as a one centimeter. And for the pocket patterns, we have to give the seam allowances as a 0.7 centimeter right click and then ok 0 0.7 we have to enter the distance right click and then ok in the same way we have to apply this pocket gusset seam allowances will be 0 0.7 centimeter at the interval and for the top facing also 0 0.7 and hit the interval right click and then ok so now we have to delete all the unwanted lines uh, pieces so like this one and we have to delete this piece also okay now we have to apply the seam allowances to this lining also we have to go to the advanced define seam we have to select the outline of this pattern as a one centimeter and hit the enter for the gusset also we have to apply one centimeter and hit the enter button for the top facing of the lining also we have to one centimeter right click and then ok now we can see that for interfacing there is no seam allowances to this pattern create the hang strap of this styles for that purpose we have to go to the rectangle tools and we have to left click to this walk area 
and we have to enter the width of the hang strap as a 3 cm and the length will be 60 cm and give the name as a hang strap and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we can see this hang strap has developed now we have to go to the annotations and left click right click and then ok give the name as a hang strap and uh, how much pieces you want cut 4 and the default size is 1 and then ok right click and then ok you can see that the in an easiest and innovative way we have accomplished the latest handbag designs i hope that this class will be very much helpful for thank you for this class